what's the difference between dropping a tennis ball and dropping a coffee filter? Isn't that cool? So the coffee filter falls at a terminal velocity because it has significant air resistance. So what is terminal velocity? So when I take a coffee filter and I drop it, when it starts to move, there's a backwards pushing air resistance force that's proportional to the velocity squared. That's important. So this is K is some proportionality constant. As it starts to increase in speed, then that force gets larger and larger and larger. But when it starts off, it's not, it's not the, the same. They're not equal forces. But eventually, it'll get to the point where the downward pulling gravitational force and the upward pushing air resistance force are equal. In that case, the net force is zero, and it moves at a constant speed. And that is terminal velocity.